Jesleen. I promise to love, cherish, and care for you. And I will try in every way to be worthy of your love. I promise to make your welfare my first priority, just as I promise to be faithful and to make our family my first priority. Love is what God in Christ has demonstrated for men in their helpless and hopeless state as sinners. In love, we take God's side, imitate His attitude. We treat our spouse as we know God has treated us. Love has to come from God, our source of strength, our hope. For God is love. Love should be grounded in the living, trying God for God. Is love. I promise to support you in all, our, all your endeavors. I promise that I will never give up on us, no matter what happens in the future. This vow is not enough to express how much I love you, but we will learn more about each other, the beauty of our love, as we grow old together. You are my happiness, my love, my life, always and forever. I love you too much, Jesse. For us, it's a long journey to become one. Today, I honor you for being what you are to me, a friend, a confidant, and my partner in life, and for always bringing out the best in me. In this constantly changing world, people evolve and change too. We may not be who we used to be 28 years ago when we first met, but one thing remains, that is your unconditional love and support. Just as the verse from Ecclesiastes, I promise that I will be with you in every step of the way and in every aspect of our lives. I will nurture our family with the tenderness that you have shown me, and I will respect you and love you now and forever. Rely on God's self. Do you, Bernard, promise to abide by the precepts of the Bible in all aspects of your life, together with you as the spiritual head of your household? I do. And do you, Jocelyn, also vow to abide by the instructions of this book to guide your life together? I do. Guests, ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure to present to you for the first time Mr. and Mrs. Bernard Tan.